Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube, it's your boy, XIVM. Today, we're going to be talking about that new Hex Ruin update, so without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, I promise I'll actually talk at a normal speed for the rest of the video. I'll always do my intros quick for all the new people here. So, anyways, I'm going to be talking about this Ruin update, and uh, we, I'll probably have either another video or I'll talk about Doctor at the end of this video. So, right now, I'm going to put the screenshots up of what... The dev set in the forums. If you guys haven't heard about it, I'm assuming you guys have heard about it. If you're looking, up, if you're looking up this type of video, but I just wanted to give my two cents on it. So uh, let's start talking. Also, if I sound really weird, it's because my nose is bleeding, so I have tissue on my nose. Sorry about that. But anyways, I just put up the screenshots of what the devs were talking about in the forum. Um, it was really quickly. I I don't really care about the gatekeeper stuff. I don't really play a lot of killer. I've been playing. I mean, I played a little here and there, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to talk about the ruin update itself. So, for one, it's not official yet. It's only going to be out on the PTB. Nothing to worry about there. And, um, yeah. I don't think this is a good thing. And here's why. So, Ruin itself isn't exactly a crutch perk. As it, or how do I put this? Ruin itself is a crutch perk, but it's, like, you don't have much of a choice as a killer. Especially if you're not, like, a top 100 type killer, you know? Like, unless you're either really good super freaking nurse or spirit, or I guess I could say ability because they're all top, top three, even with the spirit nerf. Like, if you're really good as them, then you don't really need ruin. Or unless you're just, like, a really good killer in general, you don't need ruin. But besides that, you're going to need ruin, right? Because gen speed is pretty quickly, and I'm saying this as a survivor, as a survivor main. I play mainly survivor. Gen speed is stupidly quick, right? And... I just don't think that nerfing Ruin itself is the way to fix it. I feel like if they were to nerf Ruin, maybe they should nerf the gin speed or something like that. Or maybe they could just make it what the um make what Ruin is now, like what they're trying to do, like to update it, you know, the updated Ruin version. I feel like they should have that as the base and then leave Ruin the way it is. Because if you don't nerf the gin speed, having it so it regresses when nobody works on it is the next best thing you can do. So that way, like, say if there's somebody on the hook, and then somebody has to go get them, and everybody's working on the gen, instead of going to get the rescue, because that's what I, um that's what like I would do with my friends. We'd be like, okay, screw it. Rather, one person had stage two and get three gens done, you know. And so if one of us has to hop off, like with a really altruistic team, I should say, if an altruistic team has somebody hop off the gen, their gen will regress, therefore giving the killer more time, you know, to go after other survivors and like keep chasing them off with gens and stuff because. Ruin itself is not that big of an issue. Ruin, you could really get past Ruin, especially in red ranks. Like, I'm in red ranks. Purple and red rank players typically could work around Ruin. Like, obviously, getting rid of Ruin makes life way easier. But not having, not having, um, sorry, having Ruin isn't really a big setback. It just buys the killer a little bit more time. Now, if you're, if you're a casual player, I can understand why you would hate Ruin. And honestly, from my perspective, like from the devs' perspective, it makes a lot of sense. Why would you want something that hinders new, newer players from playing, you know? Because those are the people that you want to stick around. You already have your hardcore fan base. Like the people that's got to complain about Ruin being broken. Actually, I found Ruin right here. But actually, the people complaining about Ruin being broken or, I mean, I'm getting nerfed, they'll be playing the game even if they say they never want to play the game again. So it doesn't really matter. Like the, the devs know that those people are going to be the ones staying around. As a company, you want to try to keep as many new people as you can. You want to keep on getting new people. So if you want to, you want to make that as you know stress-free as possible. So for example, look at the new COD. Well, I don't even know if I can really use that as an example, but well, well, I'll I'll try to get you guys to see what I mean. So with Modern Warfare, they have really thick skill-based matchmaking. So if you're a noob, you'll go get noobs, and if you're a vet, you'll go get vets. Now, as a vet, you do not want to go against other vets. Why? Because you don't want to have to deal with sweating the whole time. You want to get easy kills against noobs. And as a noob, you don't want to go against a vet because you got to get freaking smacked. But at the same time, you know, that's just the way it is. So what was I getting at with that example? To keep the matchmaking as stress-free as possible. But on Dead by Daylight, there is no skill-based matchmaking. There's just the ranking system. And honestly, it's pretty damn broken, okay? You can be very boosted and <laughs> still easily rank up as compared to somebody who's really good but won't rank up anyway because, you know, they're running around the killer all the time and said, I don't know what this Neo is doing. I'm sorry, I'm watching the gameplay at the same time as commentating. But 
as compared to somebody who's really good and run the killer around, you know? So, I, just, I don't know, man. This game is just, it's a mess. Ruin does not need to be nerfed. If anything, honestly, it needs to be buffed. I've been playing a lot of killer recently for the challenges, and I learned very quickly that it's not that easy, especially against a survivor's friends. So, um, yeah. Ruin needs to be buffed. Gen speed should be nerfed if they nerf Ruin. Honestly, I feel like Gen speed should be slightly nerfed no matter what. But if they're nerfing Ruin, it definitely needs to be a nerf as well. Also, they if they're with this nerf, Ruin should not be a totem perk, okay? Because what like that it's pretty much makes it useless. So supposedly they said it's gonna make it, you know, not as effective early game, but late game is gonna be really effective. Now, when I do think of that, there's like a couple of killers that benefit from that. Hag and Trapper would mainly benefit from it because, you know, they have to have setup time. But, um, thinking of somebody like who, like Billy, Spirit, Nurse, of course, those three, they don't need any setup time. So what good would it do one of those three to run that perk? You know? I, I'm just not getting it. So, the, the Ruin nerf technically benefits some killers but not very many as you know as compared to all the killers that were get being benefited from you know in the beginning you know a couple of months ago I would never have talked like this but it wasn't until I started doing these challenges that I learned um yeah no killer is definitely way harder than survivor and man I please don't please do not nerf ruin I don't I don't want it for the killers, and I definitely don't want it for us, because as a survivor main, that'll be even longer queue times, and then there's not going to be any killers, and if they are, if they do play killers, they're going to be tunnelers for the most part, and then they'll complain about the DS, you know, and other stuff, so I just, we're not going to go into DS or any of that, that's a touchy subject, but please, devs, do not nerf ruin, I don't think I'd have the patience for that, especially with all the tunnelers that's been on PS4 recently. <sighs> but yeah. Okay. Oh, also, another thing. Sorry, I was just thinking, right? What's the point of making um, Ruin a totem perk? If it doesn't work early game, right? And then we find out they have Ruin. And we find their totem. They got literally no use out of it. What? What's the point? What is the point of that nerf? I'm, I'm just not getting it. I don't understand. But anyways, it's been your more Exiteville. You know, go ahead and make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, this is completely winged. I'll try to edit out a bit of it, but I want to give you guys my raw thoughts about it. If you want to know about what I think about the Doctor, let me know. And uh, I'll leave you guys with the rest of this gameplay. It's a pretty exciting little end towards it, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Anyways, love you all. See you guys in the next video. Peace. I forgot to tell you guys that I'll be live at around 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, so... Hopefully you guys will catch that stream, and we can go ahead and play some Day by Daylight together. Love you guys. See you in the stream. <laughs> Make up. You go ahead and run. You little, you little bastard. Little bastard, dude. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and knock out this Jean. If they're smart, they would have done a jump on the other side of the map and not this side. Yep, they are. I right, now we'll hack at the police. Um, hello? Oh, she might be a no-ed gamer. She just might be a no-ed gamer. Oh really now. I think I'll go this way. Ooh, she is pretty freaking quick. Oh, just in case she has no it, I can't afford to risk it. Ah. Yeah, she's going at me pretty hard too. She actually might be a no it gamer.
All right, not that door. So it's the door over here. We do just be vibing, dude. <laughs> no, lady. No, 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 no. No, laddie. 